Okay. Hey. What's up, love? Hey. What's up, divas? What's up, divas? You already know who it is, and it's time for one of these really cheap, inexpensive synthetic wigs. This time, I'm going to do three wigs in one video okay so first of all let me tell you I have worked with this company like a long long time ago right before I moved York. and my channel got hacked okay we had like this awesome amazing cool relationship like I really really do like them I was so glad to hear from them again so we decided to work back together I love to be able to give you guys different options of where you can shop at but it is called newyorkhairmall.com and please excuse Excuse my dog Coco who is barking in the background. It's probably Amazon delivering something. But like I was saying, they're called NewYorkHairMall.com. Same good quality service, same good quality people. So like I was saying, we're going to do three videos or three wigs in one video because it's the same wig but different colors. I wanted to try something different because everybody has like a different taste. Like some people like red, some people like brown, some people like blondes, some people like myself just like that boring plain neutral color you know sometimes I take it up a notch and go like to the 30s and 27s but I decided to do something different especially because it's short you know I really don't do a lot of short wigs but I did do this wig a long long time ago um and I did it in a plain Jane color okay and I really do like the wig because it gives you that aesthetic hair price but the actual fibers and the look of it look really really natural so I'm not really sure about how natural it looks in other colors because I do know once you step out into like colorful wigs and synthetic hair it kind of looks totally unnatural totally cheaper than like a plain Jane color so we're gonna just try this out I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it the wig company is called Vela Vela and this one is called Alexis let's get into this video I hope you guys are ready because I sure am I know I'm loud and excited I'm not really sure why but let's just get it okay so the first one we're gonna do is this red kind of like blends in with my shirt so I decided to do that it does have some hooks in the back The style of the wig, I think, does a lot for this color. It all depends, too, on the style. Like, certain styles, I am not going to wear colorful. If it was, like, really, really curly, I wouldn't wear pink hair, like, really, really curly. I don't really like those. Um, but to me, I have to go for certain styles to go wearing certain colors. This one isn't too bad. You guys know I don't really do colors like this. But I think it has to do with the makeup, the shirt. If I had on like some pink eyeshadow, honey please, this would not work for me at all. But this color is not that bad. But the wig itself is like an amazing unit. It has like a really natural human hair like look and feel. But also the cut of it is really good. Me personally, I like a lot of wigs. So if my wig is going to be short, I like them to be really tapered on the sides right here. Like, I don't like it to be too thick. So when it's like that, I'll just pull it back behind my ears. Everybody's preference is different, but I do like the way the nape is tapered. It's very flat, so I don't feel it's going to buckle up in the back. And listen, you can always use some hairspray. If you're going to use hairspray on a synthetic wig, definitely get the Aussie Instant Freeze in the aerosol can. It does come in a plump bottle, but I really prefer this because it just dries quickly and it just instantly freezes. There are different steps. There are 
different steps to this there is one underneath this you guys always see me doing either the blue which i do like 80 percent of the time or the green under that i'm not messing with because i'm saying if you're going to put hairspray in your hair you might as well make sure it just really really works so this one here is the rmbur which is really cute and now we're going to move on to the next one which is going to be the gh27 so i'm not going to style it on camera because you've already seen me do that i'm just going to go ahead and put it okay, on okay so the guys. one thing that i do want to mention see there's a comb right and here and this and I'm thinking like the GH probably stands for golden honey because this is more or less like a golden honey and here goes the 27 or this is a golden honey and this is the 27. Either way, I'm not really sure about this particular color on me because it kind of washes me out. You know, I'm already almost like the color of this wig. So for me, I don't really do a lot of blondes. If you ever notice, um, it's just hard for me to pull off sometimes, but I think like a more browner tone would be beautiful in this. It would really bring the color out but to each his own but this is how this one looks it does have like a different color right here i do really like this color the top color the most um maybe if it was blended a little bit differently then it might suit me but for this one each wig like i said for different colors gives you like a total different look and i bet you if i was to have like a different shirt on i probably wouldn't look so homely um because i think this wig kind of made me look a little bit older this color this wig just kind of made me look a little bit older and so so the last one that we're going to try is the 2H27. Okay, so in your opinion, you guys, your honest opinion, which color would you wear? Which color do you think looks more natural? Which color to you looks more realistic? Um, what do you think of me in this short wig? I didn't show you the back of this one, so I do apologize. I do have my little Nate pairs right here, so please excuse those. But... You know, I love short wigs, but I'm so picky. I really like for them to be super duper, 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 duper short. Definitely check out New York Hair Mall. So on that note, I love you guys. All of the information will be posted for you guys below. Stay diva and divalicious. I hope you enjoyed this wig video. And I will see you guys on a soon-to-come video. And if I didn't say it already, I love you guys. And make sure you thumbs it up because you love me just as much.